A political storm is raging in the Indian state of West Bengal, where about 18 women in the remote village of Shondesh Kali are protesting over allegations of sexual abuse against a local leader of the ruling Trinamool Congress Party. The turmoil began, began when a central agency team was on its way to search local leader Sheikh Shah Jahan's residence in connection with a Russian scam on January 5th. The strongman politician has been absconding since then. Sexual harassment allegations started surfacing shortly thereafter. Several women in the area have alleged that they were sexually harassed over the years by the Trinamool Congress leader and his two aides. Locals have alleged that Shah Jahan's men forcibly grabbed their land for prawn cultivation. The women in the district have also stated that the absence of Shah Jahan has given them the courage to speak about the torture that they have been enduring for years. The incident comes just months before the general elections as the Bharatiya Janata Party struggles to make inroads in the state. Opposition parties soon jumped into the controversy, triggering a political row between the BJP and the TMC. Opposition leaders in West Bengal have claimed that the TMC administration has been giving protection to Shah Jahan and his men. Meanwhile, State Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee, who is also the head of the TMC, has claimed that the whole incident has been orchestrated by the BJP. India's National Commission Chairperson Rekha Sharma has called for a President's rule in West Bengal. Women will have to trust us. They should come forward. NCW is there to help them. Women should not be scared. They should come and talk to me and my team. We will work on all their complaints. The incident is seen as a major setback for the Trinamool Congress Party, where the BJP has largely been unable to make its footprint among the masses.